Good morning, Saints. Good morning. Everybody doing okay? I'm going. I, I felt like I should notify you this morning your job may be in jeopardy. Um, for the second time in about a month, I emptied my pockets out this morning of what I thought was a ton of change, and I gave it to Josiah, and he looked at me and said, that's all? <laughs> so I may have Josiah taken up the offering, I don't know. <laughs> Years ago, um, Tom Skinner was a gang member who got gloriously converted and came to Christ. And uh, he used to tell about when in the gang meetings of these guys who had gotten saved, uh, somebody would take the offering. Um, if you didn't give adequately, they would stay right there and give you the stinky eye. <laughs> but anyway, we're not about that. We won't do it. Still life is good, huh? Hey, there we go. Well done. I, I want to tell you, when you hear somebody who suffered a defeat say all the time, That's right. yes? yes, yes, that's real. Just saying. Um, I want to share with you a passage uh, that I think will be very, very familiar to you, Psalm 34, just the first couple verses. But I'd like to remind you of the um, inscription that came before it. This is a Psalm of David when he feigned madness before Abimelech so that he drove him out and he went away. So he's with the Philistines. He's acting cray cray, right? Seriously. And so they don't kill him and send him away. That, my friends, is the context for this very, very familiar passage that we love and treat it entirely differently. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I hope that's why you came this morning. If it isn't, the Lord's going to work that out anyway. But we're going to take just a moment right now to pray and invite him just to tune our hearts. I don't know if you've ever been to hear the orchestra and the cacophony that goes on before while they're all kind of getting warmed up. But when they're all tuned and ready to go, what beauty comes forth? And that's what we're going to ask the Lord to do right now. Will you bow with me? Mighty God, how blessed we are to be in your house on this day. To be able to bring to you our gifts of our praise and worship. Just now we ask you for a supernatural anointing. So that regardless of the cares of the day, we might be able to tap into the wellspring in our spirit that is filled with joy and delight and praise for you. Enable us, Lord, to bring it forth, to lay our gifts of praise and worship at your feet. Come and inhabit our praises. Be honored and blessed in this house. We adore you, Lord. And we ask this in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. And a few people said, Amen. Amen. Come on now. Let's stand as we begin our time of worship. 